Good morning, Clay Chopper. This is Darius Bordeaux. And Julia Petty with CCN TV. Today is Wednesday, February 13th. Here are announcements for today. Volleyball tryouts will be March 19th through 20th from 3.15 to 4.30. All students interested need to have a physical form completed by a physician to try out. See Coach Brown for more information. Seniors, you should receive your cap and gown pictures in homeroom. The deadline to order these pictures are Friday, February 15th. Please turn in your order form to the front office. A recruiter from the Marines will be on campus today during fourth block. They will be set up outside the lunchroom. 10th and 11th graders interested in participating in the work-based learning or co-op should pick up an application from Ms. Shears' door. You do not have to have a job when you complete the application, but do have to have one before you can participate next year. The application is due back by this Friday. Students in 10th or 11th grade that are interested in being a big brother or big sister at Chalkville Elementary School need to see Ms. Snowden for an application. FCCLA will be selling lanyards beginning today and ending Friday, February 15th. Colored lanyards are $2 and gray lanyards are $1. See a FCCLA member, Ms. Mizell or Ms. Tucker. Students can now start paying for AP exams in the main office. If you're on free or reduced lunch, each exam is $15. If you're on paid lunch, each exam is $75. The deadline to pay is March 15th. Now it's time for Humans of Clay Chaffle. This week feature is Senior Laura Fulcanon. Hold up. Freshman year, I was like naive and I didn't know anything about what I wanted to do with my life or any college I wanted to go to. And now I know exactly what I want to do and where I want to go. Yes, I'm going to college at the University of Alabama. I want to be a news producer or some sort of producer and either work for a magazine on the side or a photography company. I like to take pictures, I like to sing, um, I like to do color guard musical theater, play French horn. My current Netflix binge is Supernatural. If you would like to be featured in one of our future Humans of Clay Chalkville segments, please contact myself, Elise Quinn, Amy Green, or Mrs. Gillette, and we will make sure to include you. Now it's time for our Wednesday Words of Wisdom. Hey, it's Lucas Seven with your Wednesday Words of Wisdom. Today I'll be talking to you about broadcast and how to get into an organization. You'll need three things. So the first thing you'll need is you need to have a good sense of humor and have a fun personality. We love to joke around and if you can't take a joke sometimes or you're not able to be fun, then you won't have a lot of fun. Second thing is you gotta be disciplined. While again, you might be having fun, you gotta remember that, there, that there's a certain deadline. You know, you have to have that video finished by Tuesday. So you don't, you don't have time to goof around that much. So you have to really be dedicated to what you're doing. And if you're not, then that's really unfortunate because Ms. Joelle's not gonna micromanage us and tell us, oh, well, this, this, or that. You know, you gotta stay on it. Third thing is, you gotta be comfortable being in front of the camera because if you're not comfortable in front of the camera, you know, it's, again, that's unfortunate, you know? We all have to be in front of camera sometimes. So even if you want to be an editor or you want to do something else, you know, you still got to get in camera on. You still got to get in front of the camera sometimes. That's your Wednesday word of wisdom, Clay Rockful. Hi, my name is Adriana, and today's hero highlight is Earl Lloyd. Earl Lloyd was an American professional basketball player and coach. He was the first black player to have played a game in the NBA. Earl Lloyd played for West Virginia State University Yellow Jackets from 1947 to 1950. He then went on to be drafted by the Washington Capitals that is now the Washington Wizards. In 1955, he then went on to win an NBA championship with the Syracuse Nationals, which is now the Philadelphia 76ers. In 2003, he went on to be inducted into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall. Basketball Hall of Fame, sadly, on February 26, 2015, Earl Lloyd passed away in Crossville, Tennessee at the age of 86. Hi, it's, my name is Eliza. Today for lunch we'll be having hamburgers or cheeseburgers with trimmings, corn dog, broccoli, parmesan, and french fries. Hey, it's Tamia with your breakfast, and tomorrow's breakfast will be a cinnamon biscuit with icing, apple cinnamon oatmeal, cereal, toast, fruit, and some juice to wash it down. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day, CCHS.